What's up, traders? I'm sure you guys are tired of seeing this outfit on my scalping videos, but uh, it was a productive day, and I've got a lot of great scalps that I am looking forward to sharing with everybody. This was my last trade of the day on September 6th. You guys can guess it was a combination of a 1,000 tick opportunity zone trade along with trading off of some prior market profile levels. We have a prior initial balance low, prior value area low, and prior range low. That was from last Thursday. Still utilizing those levels because they matter. Also have uh, S3 here that we broke above, came back and given a retest inside the 1000 tick op zone there. So just a, a lot of good confluence. I did hit record on this just slightly after I entered. So you guys don't get to see the entry, uh, but you can see that I entered right here, right at 390825, right below that prior IBL, the initial balance low, as price was escaping the 1,000 tick opportunity zone. So this is a pretty quick trade as well. Uh, this was on ES, and I actually recorded this on my phone as well for an Instagram story. So it was pretty cool that I was able to record this both on OBS for a nice scalping video on YouTube, and I was also able to uh, catch it live on the story on Instagram. So uh, same situation here as a lot of my other trades. I've got some great levels of protection, specifically that prior value low, the prior initial balance low. We've got S3 and I've got the prior range low. So you can see that I have my stop loss five points away from my entry and I am targeting more than a one-to-one -one risk reward, right? That's what it's all about. Looking to make at least a one-to-one, -one, but preferably more than a one-to-one -one risk to reward or reward to risk, however you want to talk about it. So we also have a nice little probe here. We've got a downwards trend line that's being broken as the oscillators are curling and crossing to the upside. We also have uh, some slight divergence on the delta, which is kind of hard to see with the way that I have it uh, positioned here. But you guys can take my word for it. We've got lower lows here. We've got slightly higher lows here and the delta moving up as well. Now, just like my last video and really any trade that I get into, I try to tell myself, even if things become uncomfortable, even if price moves against me a little bit, that the trade is still valid. The trade is still valid because my level that I'm basing my risk off of is still rock solid and it has not been violated. This, on the other hand, got taken care of very, very quickly, which is pretty awesome to see. So you can see that price ripped up as soon as we started to move above, you guessed it, a prior resistance level, multiple prior resistance levels, uh, which created some great liquidity to run some short stops, right? So as I always discuss, or as I try to often discuss, when buyers are in control, when we have large up moves, people are just naturally going to try to get short and fade the move, whether it's because it's based on you know some sort of analysis that they have or it's an emotional reaction. A lot of time, it is an emotional reaction. When people see a big impulse move up, they want to fade it. Don't do that unless you have a good reason to. So with that said, you can see here that as soon as price started to move above these prior resistance levels, we got a nice move, zero bearish candles. I'm just going to go ahead and rewind that because it was a really, really quick move and it was pretty awesome to watch in real time. So you can see price pushing above these prior highs and as soon as we ripped above that prior high, it was like wildfire, right? The liquidity was run, the stops got triggered and it's that's real time just so you guys know like i didn't fast forward this or anything so i'm gonna play it one more time so you guys can see what happens and how valuable it can be to understand liquidity and think about where a lot of retail traders have their stop losses look at this as soon as we push this level stops get run immediately and fiercely into s2 and above s2 you know i could have held held on and grabbed a couple extra points but you know that's that's a really high probability area and a great level at a target i love using fibonacci pivots as targets and that is a great example of why because price gets sucked into those levels especially if there's great opportunity for large players for other time frame players to run stops and that is exactly what happened you can see it right here i will rewind it one more time so you guys can watch it on the thousand tick we have the thousand tick 377 ema there as well soon as this level got pushed right 
to S2. So it is a beautiful, beautiful thing. And you can see that, you know, price continued up, came back, tested the op zone. Uh, but that was it. You know, I had some other great trades, which I also recorded and discussed on video. I'm not sure if I had, oh yeah, that was the, uh, the three-step shift video. This was a trade that I tried prior, got stopped out, and then re-entered, right? So just because the trade doesn't work out, and arguably I entered a little bit early because the oscillators weren't great. They were much better here on my second entry. That's why I took it again. It was a higher probability trade on that second attempt, and boy, did it pay off on that one. So I hope that this is a valuable video for you guys. I hope that you enjoy these scalping videos. If you like me to keep these videos quicker, please let me know. Uh, you know, your guys' feedback is very valuable to me, and I do appreciate it. So with that said, uh, if you guys would like to learn more about these strategies, if you want to learn more about the Opportunity Zone, market profile levels, my ranging strategy called the Momentum Flip, if you want to watch me take these trades live in Discord, check out the tradingnetwork.io where you can purchase the Discord, you can purchase access to the Trading Network proprietary indicator package, as well as the Fundamentals of Futures Trading course where I discuss these strategies. You can also use the code TTN2K in all caps for a limited time to get 20% off the Discord, the Indicators, and the FFT course on the tradingnetwork.io. And of course, if you guys have any questions about any of the products, about any of the trades that I take, whether in this video or in my prior scalping videos, drop some comments down below. Show some love if you enjoy the content, and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Thanks for being a part of the Trading Network.